Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I am first going to show, I got these beautiful prints in the mail today, and they are from Stephanie Gagos, and I will put her link below. And these are prints of art that she actually makes and sells, and they're absolutely gorgeous. This is one. It says she lived, and look at the texture. You can see the texture from the canvases and all, which I love. Set that there. Then there's this one. Look how pretty. Love the background and the little girl. And then there's this one. Absolutely gorgeous. And I, like I said, I know she. Um, look at the texture. And this is a print, but you can still see that great texture from the uh, canvas. Um, I was very surprised. I knew she was sending me something because she asked for my address, but uh, I didn't expect her to send me prints and they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put them in a frame and hang them. I've been, stuff that everybody's, people have been sending me, I've been putting in a pile to go into my living room. Um, but I absolutely love them. I wanna thank her so very much. I was very surprised, they're gorgeous. And um, I'm gonna put her link down below, go check her out. And see, she has, I follow her on Facebook and I follow her on YouTube and Instagram and she's always doing new paintings and putting them up and videos of the paintings that she does. Um, so I will link you to her uh, stuff and then you guys can go check them out yourself. So thank you so much, Stephanie. I absolutely love them. Okay. Now, we're going to do a, put my pencil there so maybe it'll focus. Um, we're going to do a profile drawing. I get a lot of requests for this. We're going to just rock it out and try it. Um, I'm a little dark here. I had to move my light a little bit because when I put my light on here, you really can't see. I don't, I realized that I have two, two windows in here and during the summer, it would be very light in here because of the windows and everything kind of balanced each other out. But now that it's like very cloudy and dark, I have to have my husband come in here and help me move my light in a different way because it's not uh giving me good light so i don't know so do you you know how, how you say uh not dare deal with me um bear with me bear with me while i do this okay so we're going to start out a profile and <clears throat> i got it kind of in the middle so i i want to keep a, a nice amount up here i'm doing this the width wise I want to keep a good width uh, up here because I want to add some hair, up, obviously. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sketch out very quickly her forehead. And then I'm going to kind of do her nose. And don't be too hard on yourself as you're sketching out. I know the nose looks a little crazy. It's all right. Because we're going to go back in. And then we have lips. We're going to go back in and we will kind of looks like Homer Simpson. That's, that's, that's nice. Um, and then we will uh, edit everything and fix it up, which is how I do it when I'm starting to do it. Cause then I can see I'm kind of going to have her chin go this way. And we're going to kind of go like that. looks like a freaking I know. Don't hate, just wait. All right. So now we kind of have our side view. So I'm going to go in with the nose. Now you can make the nose pointier. You can do whatever you want. But right now I'm going to put in where I'm going to put like her nostril here. Because we're going by the side. She's going to have a nostril. And that's it. I want to kind of go. There we go. And that's, I just did a little color thing here and kind of did this and added that. And kind of gives this the look of a nostril. You can also make it a little bit wider, this part. You just go in, go down, and bring it that way. Like I said, we're just kind of mapping out. And I think for everybody beginning and starting out, this is how, this is how I would show you how to do it if I was doing a class. Um, because you, got, you can see that it's definitely a profile. It's just what we do now to it that's going to make it. Um, you know, a little better. Now, you know, if you've seen my other videos where we draw faces and stuff, you know, this forehead is, you're going to have a big forehead here, just like when we draw 
our girl, our normal girl, when we draw the forehead up like that, and you know, we start our eyes down here, and we have that forehead. So it's gonna be the same thing over here. My dog will not stop barking today. I have no idea why. I want to yell at him. I'm trying to record, but I don't really don't think he gives a crap. Okay. So now I'm going to look and I'm going to go in. I want my chin a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, shaped to a little smaller. All right. So now, like I said, we're going to kind of we know that the bridge of the nose is right here and we can go play with that later, but what we're going to do is kind of put in her eye right here. And all the eye is really, especially when you go to the side, is kind of like a V. See how we're doing that? Just like a V. And then you're going to put, because you're not going to see her whole eye. Remember that. So this is going to be her eye. So when we paint it, and we'll kind of judge that the eye, the outer of the eye will be right there. And then we'll do her pupil kind of right there. All right. And then you can, oh, this pencil doesn't have an eraser on it. I don't understand. All right. And you can make that a little, you know, a little smaller if you want. Make that a little rounder. Like I said, we're just, we're just playing and we're going to go up here and we're going to do her eyebrows. Just short strokes with your pencil. You can go back in later and do those a little bit, you know, a little bit more if you want them, whatever way you want it. And then of course we'll do her eyelashes and we'll do those later. Now you can make this kind of go in and this is where you can play and make it, you know, more of what you want. Um, and then I'm going to go in and I want to add my crease here that I always add when I do my eyes. Um, when I'm looking on, you know, when I'm looking straight. Now the nose, eh, it's a little, like a little pudgy nose. I have a pudgy nose. Um, but I kind of want, and this is where you get to play. Again, you can do a little point. I'm sorry, I just drink water. Well, I always drink water and that affects me. You could do a little point. And I, I give my advice to you is to like, to be sketchy when you're doing it. Like, you know what I mean? Like light, but you're getting the, getting the thing in there. And then the lips. All right. Those lips are a hot mess. I'm not going to lie. And we don't want them to stick out as far, but we have the basic of where our lips are at. So we know that coming down from our nose that we have, it kind of goes in and then it kind of goes like this. Cause that's our little, what they call it? Cupid's bow. And then we're going to do the mouth. So you want the nose to stick out obviously more than the lips. So just kind of give yourself the same kind of drawing kind of that we did for the eye. See what we did? Just kind of went near and like that. And then you'll go back in. We'll just make it like that. Make it like this. And then you can bring in her lips and look how different, how much better. Awesome. So like I said, when you're drawing or whatever you're doing, whether you're doing mixed media, watercolor, whatever, don't, don't do like you saw how this looked in the beginning. Don't get yourself upset thinking, Oh, this is never going to look like that. This is never going to be like that. It's very, it's very easy and everything's fixable. Everything's erasable. Remember that it's not, it's not, you know, a big deal. Now the jaw, as it's going up here, you know, in our jaw area, we have that build up. But you know what else? I, I'm not an ear person. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just something I've never done. Never really done too much of. But I'm going to kind of do an ear. I don't really know. I, I've never really studied ears. So I'm not real sure what goes into having ears. But we're just going to do. That's what I did for my ear. I just went from the right here. I gave it a you know, like a half of an oval and then I went back in with the oval. Okay. So you can see we have our side view. Now here's where we're going to go in and you don't, I mean, you don't have to erase this, but I'm going to show you before I erase it. Now we go in with our hair.
and this is where you'll put in whatever kind of hair you want. I'm just going to add that line in there, but you can erase it. And you want to make sure her hair goes above her head. And we kind of want it to kind of come down here. And I'm going to put her neck in here so I have an idea of where I kind of want my hair. And then we're going to bring, because remember this is the side. This is going to be her hair as well, and it's going to cover all that. So we're going to just kind of add some hair. I know, very technical, technical hair. And you play around till you get like kind of hairdo that you want. I'm not obviously not digging that. It kind of looks like she belongs in the Ramones, or not the Ramones, other misfits. And this is kind of what you do. You just kind of. you know, make it a little bit more. Like you want. Now, I don't like ears because I like to do big hair. But I'll leave that ear in there in case you want to do an ear. All right, and that's her bangs. And of course, her bangs are not going to be longer than her eye. You can tell I didn't practice. I just am kind of like... Yeah, so we'll just give it like that. It kind of looks like a pompadour, so I'll probably go over like that. Give her a little bit of a... And like I said, the, the bigger the hair for me, the better. I don't know why. It covers a multitude of sins. That's why I have such long hair. And of course, do curl... You know, you could do curly hair... Add some curl in there. You can do it so it looks like it's coming in like this. And then you can color it with your paint, you know, paint it or color it with your color pencil. It doesn't matter. It's hard. Like I said, I'm just drawing today, so I'm not really, you know, going to paint or all. I just want to kind of give you a basic of how to do the profile. So there we kind of go. There we go. And like I said, you see the ear. You could do curly hair. You can make it go, you know. And I'm going to put a little bit of hair here just to kind of frame down the face. And then we can go in here and do my favorite things in the world, as you all know, eyelashes. Okay. So then what you would do is, let me see if I have any, 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 any. I probably don't. Hoop. All right, let me just show you how to color the eye. I'll use a crayon thing. Now here's our eye. So we're going to go in with green or whatever color you want to do your eyes. I'm using a green uh, watercolor crayon. You can use paint, whatever you want. Marker, color pencil, crayons. And you see how our eye is green. And I see that I want to have this come out a little bit further. And that up a little bit more. And another eyelash there, another eyelash there. This is where we would, like I said, do that. Her eyelash. And that's really it. It's very simple. And if you don't want your eye to go out that far, you just, you know, you this is where you play. This is where you firm up what you like to do, how you like to do it. It's so simple. Once you do it a couple times, then you'll get it. Like I said, it's hard to kind of teach this kind of thing because I like I don't like putting hair on things. Let me show you. Let's see if I can get this. Excuse me while everything shakes. Just be glad you're not seeing me in my shirt with no bra. What shakes there? Things that I really don't want to shake because they hit my knees. All right, so I'm just going to kind of blend that out. Okay. And that's just to lighten up because seeing it on camera, it, it, that's what 
I'm not focusing on the hair right now. I just kind of want to get you guys to do on the face. And this is the jaw that goes up to the ear. We'll just keep it with the ear. Hello, ear. You know, and then like I said, right here. And that's kind of. the head. I don't think it has a bump on that. Mine does have a bump actually right now because I have a ponytail in. Okay, never mind. Just stupid jokes I tell myself. Okay. So you see the outline of that. Very simple. And like I said, you can go on from here and do different kind of hairs and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, you just kind of, here's the beginning, you know, of her hairline and you go from there and like I said now you can do curly you can do whatever you want and bring her have bangs down I always like to do dreadlock like curly kind of you know dreadlocky things and you just play add your color it'll look much better when you're painting or coloring or whatever whatever you're doing and you just add it in now you can make this definitely a <clears throat> wider face by making her have more cheeks. More cheek space. It's not erasing as well as I want to. And just leave it like this. <clears throat> and that's where her hair goes. You know, she has more bangs up here, obviously. But leave this hair back here. And then she has more face and then you can kind of go in and add you know if you want to add blush or do her eyes up a little different i give her some this is almost like a heart give her some uh lips and there you go that is the basic of it like i said it's once you learn how to to do just the side part remember we did the dot and we just kind of go like that once you learn how to do that to do the side portrait then the hair and all that just falls into place. And you have her nose and you have, and like I said, we're all different. Like I said, I guess that's my word for today, but we're all different and we all look different. So, you know, you can add makeup on her, give her lipstick, make her eyes darker. You know, that's when you can go in and add your little, your little bits. And like I said, hair is just hair. I like it full and big. And then we got our neck right there. And you know, I, I got, I wear my hair and you play. And this is what you do in your art journal. This is what you do on a scrap piece of printer paper or mail art or whatever. And you just practice that side view and you will have it. It's very easy. Like I said, take all that out and you have a great, great, great face. And what I advise you to do is if you, before you do the hair, okay, and I can't erase it off. It won't come off this paper. I, I push too hard. But before you do the hair, take your side view, okay, that's our side view. Take that side view and copy it in your printer. If you have a copy, you know, a printer that does copies or scan it in or whatever. Um, even take it with your phone and then send it to your email and print it out, whatever. And then you can have your face that you drew and glue it on a piece of mixed media paper or whatever kind of paper you want. And then practice different hair that you want to do. Um, so you know you know, what, what you want to do when you move forward to do this on a canvas or whatever, but it's very simple. And like I said, you can, you can go, you can do the nose different, the chin different. You can give her a period. You can do whatever you want, but that's the basic of it. So I'm going to turn her around and just show the side of the face, but I wanted to show like, sometimes I have ideas or in my head or I have different, um, ways I want things to turn out or, or whatever. And I wanted to show you that you saw how I just did the basics. I just penciled it in. It's not a big deal. And the once you get everything kind of penciled in of where you basically want it, then you go back and then you can add in 
if you want the chin bigger, the lips plumpier, the nose different. Yeah. So then you can go back in and just do a little erasing. That's why I try not to draw like I do. It's because my hands, but uh, I, I draw hard. And if you draw hard, hey, join the club with me. But you see that when I take the hair out this way, how much better she looks. I didn't do a great job on the hair. I'm not gonna not gonna fret over it, like I said. But uh, you know, once you get this down pat, you can you can do you know a million things, and then you can you can um, give her a point to your nose. You can give her lips a little thinner, or make the top one thinner, make her have a, a wider chin or a, or a pointier chin, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But just remember. This is your, this is your master. This is where you're going to go. And like I said, that's what you're going to draw. And then you're going to add all your hair with paint and everything. Um, it really does make a difference when you do the hair rather than drawing it. I am not a pencil, a charcoal artist. I really want to learn how to draw more, um, realistic faces and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just having the patience and the time to sit down and do it. But this is just very easy very easy to do. And you can put little, you know, you know, I love putting stuff. You could put flowers in her hair, you know, to make her have like a thing on the side of her head, although you can't probably see it through the pencil, but you can put, you know, even when, if you buy a cane company, I have a lot of their flowers and you could put that in. I do that on my paintings a lot, add tons of extra stuff to it. So she can have a flower in her hair, you know, whatever you want, but that's your basic and that's what you practice. And then you go from there to edit it a little bit of how you, to your way or how you want it. So I hope that helped you guys. Um, any questions as always just ask, um, you know, you could put, what do you say? Uh, uh, eyeshadow, Durr, I just lost my train of thought. Eyeshadow in, blush. You could paint her face with paint, pencils, uh, paint, watercolor crayons, markers, colored pencils. Crayola is a great thing if you don't have a lot of money. Um, and that is our side profile. So I hope that was helpful uh, to y'all. And as always, just ask me to show you things, and I will. I'm more than happy to. And I, I'd love to see what you guys do with this and how you guys make out. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys later.